So there I was. I was four years old. I went into my aunt's house. I went downstairs to the basement. My aunt brings down a stroller. I look inside and I see a cat. A cat with a bib. <laughs> a little baby hat. The baby's wear. Pacifier, <laughs> green eyes, one blue, one green. It tells me, lights out, baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it scratches me. I'm like, oh, 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 it's a bad cat. It's a bad cat. Mommy, take me out of here. And then the and then the cat's like. You ain't going anywhere, son. <laughs> Stay with me. I'm <laughs> the dog in this house. Nobody's taking that away. <laughs> Bop. And then it punches me. And I'm like, <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. It hurts. It hurts. And then I pull my mom's hair. If I find out. But she's wearing a wig! <laughs> and then a little bit, and then a puppet comes in and says, Have you seen my baby, darling? And I'm like, Is that an African accent? <laughs> what are you? I'm a wooden puppet. What are you? Have you seen my baby? Yeah, it's on that roller coaster right there about to fall off. No! <laughs> into a lake. Oh. Then he falls into a piranha's mouth. <gasps> then the piranha has a blowhole, shoots the baby out, <laughs> and hits the cat in the head. Oh. And the, so then the cat eats the baby. <laughs> and then the wooden puppet eats the cat. And then my aunt eats the stroller. <laughs> and then my mom eats my aunt. <laughs> And then I eat my mom. <laughs> and then I eat the house. <laughs> and then I eat Long Island, and New York, and uh, all the other states, and I eat the world. So I'm the world. <laughs> it's a strange dream. You <laughs> all. I was on the Grand Canyon. I was walking. But then I found the edge. I fell off. Then I was back on the top. And then I fell off again. And then I was back on the top. And then I fell off again. I went back to my house that evening. There was a monkey in my house that night. <laughs> it says to me, watch out for the light. green beans and then I came out with this this green thumb see that's what happens when you eat too many vegetables so I'm warning all you kids out there not to eat vegetables and then I woke up I was in my car driving I drove too far to Canada I fell off a cliff and then I came back then I died. Then I came back to, back to life. I went to my house and went to sleep again. Then I woke up. I was in the sky. And then, all of a sudden, a cloud opened and a magical donut came. Then it started to rain marshmallows. All of a sudden, a big light from one marshmallow came and blinded me. And it was Mr. Bunny named Bob. So he told me that I was in a world called Acapopolis. 
And I swear that everything was made out of candy. And I ate the candy until I came to a metal pipe and I choked to death. And then I woke up. So I felt that it was the first day of school and my teacher said, take your homework, take, take a pencil out before I give you a test and whip you. So um, <laughs> when we're doing a test, somebody came in the door and said, I love you, you love me, let's go together and kill Bonnie. Then I came and just killed Bonnie. Then, so, your Bonnie came out. <laughs> he said, oh, hi, Bonnie, let's take a photo together. And your Bonnie died with him. That's what? It. Then I walked up. The closet. There's a big, big, furry rat. It was scary. The nightmare was that he pooped in my closet. And it, that was not very nice of him. <laughs> <laughs> so, I got up, went back to sleep. There was more rats pooping in my closet. But <laughs> my friend Justique came over and Nesmi and Kristen came over my house. We had it all a sleepover. They were dreaming about the same thing, pooping rats. <laughs> rats came down the sky and poop started to come out. And it was not nice. Then me, Jaseek, Nesmi, and Kristen woke up. It was in a big house. It was like really big. And then there was this big closet. It was like the size of the house. So I opened the closet and there was two policemen in there. So I'm like, why are you in my closet? And they're like, I'm like, what? And like, I, I don't know how to speak alien. And I was right, they were aliens. They zippered down the police man officer costume and then they were, they were all green. Hairy too. Like, what is that? So, I, so then, they start to run around my house. I'm chasing them. And then all of a sudden I see a shoe. And the shoe's chase, chasing me. And then I see someone familiar. Really familiar. I can't describe this person. She looks like the sky. Like, like a big purple crepe. <laughs> but he looks like the sky. But he's purple. That leaves me thinking what it is. But then it's too late. I wake up. So I was walking to the park with Jalisa, Nathami, and Kristen. And then we walked by this big tree. It was filled with acorns. And then one fell and hit us all in the head. And we all just got hit by acorns and corn dogs. <laughs> and then we all fell to the ground. So as we slowly fell, a bunny popped out from the tree hole. And he was magical, so if he touched his fur, you get three wishes. I wish for acorns, a dog, and a new best friend. So I wake up the next morning, and a bunny's by my side with my new rag doll friend. Billy Bob. <laughs> <laughs> the end. I was at Fox Lane Middle School outside being hung on a locker. And when I was on that locker, I was being beaten, you know, with a bat, <laughs> kicked, punched, all that good stuff. And then, you know, um, uh, the uh, coach came out. And then he uh, helped me out, and then, and then, and then he like took me away. And then after that, I started crying. And then I woke up, and I was, and there were tears on my eyes.
and that's it.